Ottawa County's first state licensed medical marijuana business is open to customers. Most communities in the county have rules that outlaw these businesses. Crockery Township leaders, however, went in a different direction. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noah Frompson explains why. There are pharmacies on every other corner. Common medications are fairly easy to get in West Michigan. Paper you fill out. You know. But the customers filling out this Crockery Township waiting room never had that luxury. It's normally you'd have to drive out uh, at least an hour or more. Now people like Lonnie Gass are able to get their medical marijuana in Ottawa County at Exit 9 Provisionary, which opened Friday at an industrial park off M104. There was nobody doing it in this area. Greg Mackey first brought medical marijuana to the Lakeshore when he opened up Park Place Provisionary in Muskegon six weeks ago. The Lakeshore native knew the industry would make it to Ottawa Where's that back for you? and wanted to keep it local. We have like 68 members in my immediate family and I, about five of them are all in this business with me. For flour? Since opening the Muskegon Center, Agrimed has grown from 40 to 94 different products, including flour, oil cartridges, edibles and capsules. Crockery is the only one that approved it. Again. Township Supervisor Leon Still said medical marijuana is inevitable. Crockery wanted to test it with a limited number of growers and provisioning centers. Marijuana is going to be here sooner or later. Let's get our, our act together and, and make provision for it. Most Ottawa municipalities have maintained more conservative stances, opting out of the marijuana industry. But with Grand Haven recently taking steps towards approving medical marijuana, some feel a potential change in the county. This is a better uh, medical means in order to handle their daily issues than using prescription medication. That's uh, an open book right now. Some communities, I believe, will never approve it. We just think that it's something that's on the horizon that's going to continue to grow. And Mackey says Agrimed is not done. They're looking at opening up provisioning centers in counties all over West Michigan. Reporting in Crockery Township, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.